Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We are heading back onto spring break with Stephanie and Mia, who are out camping and they're living off the land as much as possible. Now, this is part two of this Let's Play for Sims 4. Uh, Noodle, their friendly or not so friendly raccoon, is hanging out with them. Sawoobie! the campsite and Stephanie's just sent Noodle off to uh, scavenge. Mm. Noodle's just looking at her as though to say seriously you want me to go do what? Oh and Noodle now has something quite vocal to say about that but off Noodle goes because Noodle is if nothing else a not very well trained raccoon. Now let's put some of these uh let's let's sell some of these things that we collected in the last episode because the girls are living off the land they started with no money once they had all their camp stuff set up cute uh, oh, we might sell that one that one's that one's just a common fossil an enormous trilobite wonder if we could uh wonder if we can sell the homework book no we shouldn't do that they will have to go back to school eventually and maybe the fish oh this tuna's worth a small fortune let's sell the tuna good all right so those were in Mia's inventory we've cleared out both of the girls inventories of valuable things and they've got their phones out again i haven't found a way to disable their phones just temporarily seriously while they're camping they don't need them <laughs> oh but they do like hanging out together okay so what are they going to get up to today so far they have been camping Ooh, for one day the moment they're just chilling having some fun but we need to send them out to actually find some things to make some more money and uh <laughs> good little noodle is headed out who is that guy is headed out to uh probably beat up some more unsuspecting squirrels yes definitely beating up some more squirrels <laughs> oh dear and this guy is up here on the park bench. He is stop. Whoa, he looks angry. He's stomping over to the bush. Oh, but hold on. Oh. <laughs> okay, I don't know what he tried to do to Noodle, but I think Noodle bit him. And that's just made him even more angry. So he started angry. Now he's super angry. And Noodle just doesn't really care. Stephanie is busy cleaning up the campsite. Bless her cotton socks. Like to see some responsibility in my teenagers here. And let's see what Mia's up to. Oh, she's having a bowl of Fruit Loops because, well, she's got some fish in her inventory. She could cook them, but no, she's having having something else. And Noodle is always up to interesting stuff. So let's check back in. Oh no, Noodle's just, Noodle's on the way back. Okay, so let's take these girls out hiking because otherwise they're just going to spend all day eating Fruit Loops and cleaning up trash at the campsite. Let's go out into the wild blue yonder and collect some good stuff. So let's harvest whatever might be around and anything that they can find here, they can plant back at their campsite and hopefully they'll grow before they have to go home or before they have their spring breaks over. So we've got something here. What's happening here? This does not look like a foresty area. This looks super fancy and kind of, kind of enchanted. And well, noodles straight in here. There's a massive fountain. There's a guy in here playing chess against himself and he just won. Well done you. <laughs> it's not very hard to win when you're playing against yourself. Oh, I suppose as long as he didn't cheat. So he's set up a new game and oh look, oh, it's really pretty in here. There's monkey bars. Can they go on the, no, they can't because they're teens. Oh, that's a shame. I reckon they'd have fun hanging out there, but Mia has come to play a little game of Don't Wake the Llama. I mean, this has got nothing to do with actually camping, but they have stumbled upon this really interesting place in the middle of the forest where I sent them. And there are just random people wandering around here. Who's this other girl? Whoa, she looks as though she's kind of... Yeah, she, she looks as though she's despising all things in life, but she is whipping them at Don't Wake the Llama. Uh, but hold on, she's off. Oh, so much for that. We were going to try and introduce her. Oh no, she's coming back. Oh, Noodle's here. Right, so this... Oh no, no, she's definitely gone. Okay, she doesn't want to hang out with us. Stephanie, uh, what do you think? Oh no, that was it! Oh, <laughs> and Stephanie is obviously being... A, a very gracious winner there and we've set up another game of don't wake the llama but we can't do this all day let's go and see what else is over here look at 
this beautiful pond? This is magical. Oh, well, even though it's quite cold, let's go swimming. Let's swim, swim together. This is so pretty. <laughs> it is, it's cold, it's sunny, but it is cool, but not too cold. So they, it'll be a nice, brisk, racing swim. And Stephanie is just legging it over there. She is ready for a swim. There is smoke everywhere, fog everywhere. This is a very weird place that they have hiked to indeed. But swimming's lovely. Uh, Mia is just playing by herself. <laughs> She's determined to win this. <laughs> but I'm not going to let her keep playing. She needs to come swimming. Look, Stephanie's just swimming around and around in circles. So Mia has been sent to come and join her. This is, I love the Sims because they do, well, you can control them a lot, but they can also do things that they want to do as well. So <laughs> it's always funny to see the random stuff that they just do when you're not busy telling them what you want them to do. At the moment, they are swimming around, kind of looking like paint drying watching them swim. Oh, the Spice Festival is on. I love going to the Spice Festival, but we're camping. Eh, we'll just go to the Spice Festival. Why wouldn't we go? Oh, I've got a good reason to go to the Spice Festival. We can get some new Mama. produce so we can go and I know they're hungry. <laughs> You're still in your swimsuits, you ninnies. Let's change out of those. And uh, let's go and get something to eat because they're both quite hungry. They can do the Spice Curry Challenge. So... Mia has never done this before, so it's not going to go well. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, so too hot for Mia yet. She does not have a spice tongue yet. But she's looking pretty happy. Stephanie is coming over to try this, the, 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 the challenge as well. There's all that, all of those fresh fruits behind them and produce. I'll have to send them back to get that, but they are hungry, so let's see how Stephanie goes. Is she going to blue flame? Oh, I can't see down in front, Mr. Top Hat. Why is he wearing a top hat to the Spice Festival? Oh, she's feeling queasy. Okay, so that did not agree with her either. Neither of these friends' sims are, uh, they're not spice eaters yet. But we can work on that as we go along. They've had their first foray into spicy food. And Mia is just over here talking to random strangers. Okay, we might uh, <laughs> check in what Noodle's doing. Noodle's hanging out with this very odd fellow. Noodle's just looking at this guy like, what are you doing? Are you going to do anything else? Just snipping him. <laughs> okay, uh, Mia, can you go and collect all of the fresh produce because we're going to take it back we're going to plant it so here it is over here let's just get her to harvest all there's so much here all right so harvest all and we'll get we'll get all of these things i just heard a glass break in the background <laughs> so much is going on here at the spice festival but we got a job to do we are trying to live off the land we have cheated a little bit by coming and getting free food at the spice festival but that's okay it's okay, they can have a bit of a break. <laughs> it's just a little bit odd. But that's right, it's fun too. What else have we got? Oh, so much stuff. Oh. So much free food as well. All right, lots of good things here. Let's check what she got. So she's got tomatoes, great. A cow plant berry. Oh, we'll have to plant that, see if we can get it to grow. All right, lots of choices there, which she can either eat or we can plant. So we're headed back to the campsite and, oh, Noodle. Noodle is uh, sharpening her raccoony claws on the camp chair there. Stephanie is busy planting some of our produce. So that is awesome. And it looks like Mia has headed off to bed. So it was good of Stephanie to jump in. The cow plant over here, the cowberry plant, has been planted. So we'll water that too. <laughs> oh, poor Stephanie has to go to the toilet. And Mia is, she went straight to bed. And Noodle is still scratching the chair. Looks like it's a long-term occupation for Noodle. How are you going with your planting here? Oh, she's watering. Oh, I bet all that watering is making her need to wee even more. The sound of the running water. 
it's not a comfortable thing to be doing when you really need to go to the toilet. Oh, I know. I'm so sorry. Here, you can you can go now. <laughs> she looks so uncomfortable. Poor Stephanie. And Noodle. Well, Noodle is following her to the wee bush. Oh, are they having a moment? Oh. <laughs> Good Noodle. Obviously, Stephanie did not see Noodle scratching the camp chair. Stephanie is heading back over for... Oh, she is so tired. She is not... She didn't even make it into the tent. And it is Pride Day. Okay, that's going to make some random things happen while we're busy doing our gameplay. And poor Stephanie, she's not going to sleep well out there. Especially with Noodle up here on the table just making scritchity noises at that bowl of food. What do you want, Noodle? Who knows? But Mia is up now and Mia is busy planting the rest of these delicious produce things. We'll see how they go. And Andrea has turned up! Andrea's come to see how they're going! Andrea is not dressed for camping. I don't know what Andrea is doing this spring break. Um, I, I just don't know. That's a completely separate story. Oh, hold on. Oh, Mia is just <laughs> planting Andrea's foot. Okay, but now that she's finished. Don't worry, your foot will grow. I've totally planted it. Yes. <laughs> All right, okay, so I have no idea what Mia was really saying to her, but Stephanie is singing in the shower. That was so cute. Stephanie is all squeaky clean, so she's headed back to back to her log to have a bit more of a sleep. Go in the tent, girl. You will have a much better sleep there. Why did Stephanie just get random money? That was weird. She's heading back over here to cook some more veggie burgers, and she looks absolutely thrilled with that. So keen. <laughs> they used to look like that. Oh no, Noodle is lying in a puddle of her own wee. Oh, Noodle needs to go to the vet. Noodle has got that squirrel bite thing. Right, okay. A trip to the vet, hey? Do we have enough money for this? Yeah, poor Noodle. <laughs> Come on, Drea. Okay, we are now at the vet, and it is thunderstorming here. Whoa, and everybody is super angry. Except for Mia, she seems quite happy. Let's go and sign Noodle in for some fixing up here. For curing sickness. We get straight in so we can get straight out and get back to our camping. We don't want Noodle to be poorly, that would be sad. So put all Noodle's details in here. Oh, look at that storm going on out there. Okay. Look at this lady next to us. She is so, so angry. I wonder if she's stressed about the storm. Let's chat to her. I don't want to downplay her stress. I mean, she's stressed. But we'll, we'll, we'll be friendly and we'll chat. And that might take her mind off the storm. She's got a kitty. She is a total cat lady, this lady. <laughs> she's got a kitty on her jumper. But she's having a nice chat with Mia. That, that cheered her oh, up a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Jabadoo. Jabadoo. That's what I would think. Uh, and Mia has eaten a tomato because she was hungry. It's always nice to have fresh produce in your pocket ready for whenever you're hungry. It's time for Noodle's examination though. So come on Mia, in you hop. Stop cheering up random ladies you meet in the vet's office. And Noodle is ready. Whoa, this vet is grumpy. Hopefully her grumpiness does not stop her from doing her job well. Mia <laughs> says, God, oh, this noodle. Wow, sick, just suddenly became sick. Oh, look at the drippings out of Noodle's mouth. Okay, we want, oh, can we afford the basic treatment? We have got, oh, okay, we have got just enough money to do that. We've got $48 left now. Wow, Noodle, you are an expensive raccoon to maintain, and now you have a bucket on your head. Well, that's going to be fun. <laughs> Can you still beat up Squirrel with, uh, with with buckets on your head? Oh my goodness, the cat lady came with us! 
Okay, all right, so Noodle is recovering and Mia is still hungry because that tomato did not fill her up. And Stephanie is still trying to sleep. At least she's headed into the tent this time. Why didn't she get anything to eat? Because Noodle is licking all of the veggie burgers. Oh, Noodle, you need some serious training, but I honestly don't think you can train a raccoon. How about, this one over here has not been licked by Noodle. Look at Noodle. Noodle knows. Noodle says, I've licked all of these. Nobody else can eat them. Oh, yum. Oh, you are a rat bag, Noodle. Okay, Noodle's heading off to go and cause mischief somewhere else. <laughs> we'll see how Mia's going. Oh, she's chatting over here with the cat lady. And with Andrea. I don't think Andrea... Oh, look at the puddle of Noodle's wheat. We're going to have to clean that up. So we'll throw this away. Yeah. Wow, Andrea's being a total teenager. She's barely talking to this lady with respectfully. Oh, I wonder if Andrea's having a really bad day. Oh, okay, and Noodle's falling asleep. <laughs> Sitting up. Oh, Noodle. Oh, and now Mia's having a shower. She's singing over there in the shower. Let's see, does she have a lovely singing voice? <laughs> I know I should give her some privacy, but she's got a lovely singing voice. <laughs> and the cow plant, the cowberry plant is coming along very nicely. Doesn't need anything at the moment, so we'll leave it alone. Oh goodness, even Stephanie's looking bored with the cat lady's conversation. That's a bit rude. Let's send them out, out, out over here again to a different spot deep in the forest. And let's go foraging. Whoa, this is good. Okay, so we've got some nice things here that we can dig up and hopefully sell to get some of our money back because Noodle's vet bills basically cleaned us out. Let's see what Stephanie's finding here. Hmm. What have you got? <laughs> She's excited. Nice, a capsule. Well, we fell for that last time. We won't open the capsule. We're just going to sell it. Because if we open it, whatever we get inside is worth a whole lot less. And no, oh, Mia got a fossil. All right, let's uh, let's extract that. Whoa, that is rare. A pre 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 singer. Two hundred and twenty five simoleons. We might keep that for now. There's another little bit here. Look at this. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's very random. It's Pride Day, so they are just doing doing some Pride celebrating. Noodle is stinky. Noodle has been sprayed by a, oh, by a skunk. Mia's found a sapphire, so that's cool. And, whoa, Andrea is just, whoa, teening all over Noodle. Noodle, why did you have to go near the skunk? Oh, Noodle is not impressed. Noodle is not like anybody. <laughs> okay, let's, whoa, what is this place? Wow, that looks creepy. We're totally going to have to check that out later. But at the moment we're foraging. We're, we're, we're heading out and we're collecting stuff. Andrea's just singing, so we'll leave her to do that. <laughs> Thanks for popping by, Andrea. You're great company today. <laughs> oh, oh, and Stephanie has discovered that Noodle is stinky. And Noodle's running away. Okay, where's Stephanie going? Oh, she's going off to get some more things to plant. Oh, but she looks totally over it. Ah. She is totally teening. These girls, they need to get out in the oh, out in the wild a little bit more often. Check out this mansion out here on the island. Living out here all on their own. I wonder who lives here. Gonna have to visit there another time too. But oh look, there are frogs. There's a frog. Go and look for frog. Collect some frogs. Add them to your frog collection. What's over there? Yeah, no, that's that's no good to us. Strawberry bush is no good. Mia, put your phone away. Seriously, girls, if I see you on your phones, I am going to have to punish you in some way by making you dig up all of these things. We'll dig these and she can light something. And Stephanie's got her phone out too, so I'm sending her jogging. Uh, jogging, where is it? There, jogging, go jogging. Oh, 
Okay, I did not do that. She is going jogging in her ice skating outfit. Do you remember how when we made Stephanie, I gave her about three or four outfits and one of them was an ice skating outfit. So she's using that for jogging, which is very random. All right, Mia has got a really awesome bonfire going on. So let's all, uh, we'll change the color, but then we can all hang out over here. I just wanted to change the color to see what happened. Oh, light red's quite nice. Still looks reasonably realistic. Uh, <laughs> Stephanie can come too. She can stop jogging for a while. And change out of her ice skating outfit. Here she comes. She's coming down to join me at the bonfire. It's so pretty out here. It's nice to be out close to nature though. This creepy house and this car wreck and whoa. All right. Totally going to have to investigate that. It looks like there might be a story behind that place. Okay, heading down to the bonfire. And Mia's warming her hands is perfect because it's a bit cool. And now, now they can just play and hang out. In fact, if Andrea comes down, yeah, they could do some dancing. Here comes Andrea. She is totally in it because now they're dancing. We need to, uh, we need to... Add some more flame to this fire, though. Look at that dancing! <laughs> oh, I know I always go and dance like that when I'm standing around a bonfire. Don't you? Venusa! <laughs> Venusa! That's what I was thinking. That's exactly what I was thinking. Cueva Parsegag. Yeah. Cueva Parsegag. And Andrea is totally dancing through Stephanie because she's so into this. Yeah. Whoa, was that... Why were you dancing through me? And Mia's hungry, so she's eating another tomato. And Andrea has started singing again. Just randomly singing at them, but that's okay. They're totally going to get in... <laughs> <laughs> totally gonna get into the spirit of this. It's definitely music time. They don't have guitars to crack out around the bonfire, but they do have the pride trumpets. <laughs> it's time to add some accompaniment to Andrea singing. Yeah, oh, Stephanie has had an idea. She says, why don't we all go over here and sing? <laughs> I think I think Mia's enthusiastic and I don't think Andrea's listening at all. I'm gonna send them over here. It's time to sing a song together, girls. Come on. Everybody together now. Swingle zip, swingle zip, swingle bazoolorn. Ooh, bed bonnies or beef whips, a new beef who's a day. Swingle zip, swingle zip, swingle bazoolorn. Ooh, bed bonnies or beef whips. Oh, they're in sync now. Stephanie and Andre are totally in sync now. Oh no, hold on. There we go, now they're doing their own thing. <laughs> this is what the Lego Friends girls do, right? They just randomly break out into song. <laughs> Yay! And now Stephanie and Mia just look at Andreas and seriously, what did we just do? <laughs> now what do we do? Okay. Oh, okay. Selfie time? I don't think so. And Mia is busy cloud watching. I think this is a good place to leave this episode, send them home for some more sleep and see what we're going to do next. But... Oh, look, it was so good to have Andrea come into this episode. Who are we going to see in the next episode? What are they going to do? There's going to be more camping. Oh, all right. Well, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click like. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think they might be able to do in the next episode. And I'll see you with it very soon. So, bye.